So, everyone, Mino Hexer here. <laughs> Gonna try to do a live commentary with Rakan. I can't really give a leash to Lisa. That doesn't really work <laughs> as Rakan. So, I'm just gonna stay bot with the uh, Zaya. We're just gonna try to shovel in as soon as possible. I think that's really important because I don't know why, but <laughs> they don't have an AD. They have Pantheon bot with Ignite. So, they don't. They have quite a bit of kill pressure on us. So we have to be pretty careful, and I think that getting to level 2 shove is going to be super important in this matchup. Because by getting level 2 first... Oh shit, I didn't uh, shield her in time. That feels bad. So... I'm going to try to minimize the number of spear poke I take. Otherwise I'm just going to keep shoving the lane. But this should be good for us. We got the shove in now. I'm gonna ward right now, just because I want to see if the Kha'Zix is coming. I'm gonna ward right here. Yeah, we need to shove like as soon as we can. I'll just give us a heal. I don't think it's a point in taking W. We're not gonna all in them. Zaya? I think we got a problem. Think or no. No, we got a problem. But yeah, we're sustaining a fair bit now. Pantheon's almost out of pots, which is really good for us. If we keep this up, we should be in a really good spot. <laughs> I don't want to stay too close to Zaya though, because if Alistar uh, Hebat pulverizes us, I want to make sure that I'm uh, not in range. They're playing pretty aggro. But I think we'll just let the lane push towards us. I don't think there's really a point in going up this far. Yeah, I also think Kha'Zix is bot side because he started top. So if he pathed and took his blue buff, he should be bot side at this point. So I'm not really going to look to aggress at all. We're going to play really safe. Once again, just keeping my space away from the... Uh, Zaya, so that way if one of us get like if Alsar goes on me, I can at least jump to Zaya. And uh if Zaya gets caught, I can try to save her. So That's the only way to live. Cool. I'm just gonna give a quick heal. No rush. I think it's all it's really important to be disciplined enough to forfeit CS. Like as long as we don't die to the Pantheon early, we win the matchup later. So I think it's okay to give up a couple CS to make sure that we don't die. Oh, I shouldn't have autoed that. That's my bad. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually about even in CS, so this is pretty good for us. Bam, so I missing a lot of CS there. That's okay though. I just don't want to all in. I think just I think it's just a really bad idea to all in since we haven't seen Kha'Zix at all yet. It has to be done. I have to shove the lane right now. This lane is in a really bad spot. I have to shove. Hopefully I can get the shove in. Oh, I shove so slowly. This feels bad. But I have to do it, otherwise they're gonna get a huge freeze on us. I don't really have a choice. Oh god, this is like even worse now. Uh, this is super fucking bad. Like, uh Actually, it might have been better if I didn't shove at all, because I'm putting Zaya in a really awful spot. On the right hand, 
on the bright side, uh, by shoving, I uh, had enough to get boot side stone, so that's not terrible. Actually, this wave, this wave is fine. So I got a couple CS. And I'm gonna hit 6 pretty soon, too. Oh my god, or at least in a so strong. Nice job. But, yeah, in that all-in there, I missed my W on the Pianton, which is pretty bad. I think the Pianton actually did a really good job at jumping to dodge my W. Oh, damn, I missed it. Okay, we still won that trade, though, even though I missed the W there. Leave one ward here. Um, as soon as this wave shoves, I'm gonna go ward, uh, ward their blue. I just have to stay in lane right now. Once again, just gonna space myself away from Zaya. Like, we have lane pressure. Pantheon has no thoughts, so I can just run up like this. And he can't do anything to me. These guys look silly, bunch of weirdos. Like, it's definitely important for me to recognize when I can be the aggressor in this matchup. And now that we have uh, a kill lead on them, he can definitely be the aggressor. I'm just gonna auto this Alistar. I got three free autos just because he had, he's forced to go up to proc his Relic Shield on that free. So. Because Pantheon can't get any CS right now. This is really good for us. Ah, oh, man, Zai is missing so much CS. I'm gonna try to get a ward over this part right here. We have so much vision in the river, I'm not afraid of Kha'Zix right now. Uh, took a tower step for no reason, but I can like still back up with a Q, so it's not too bad. Oh, actually I have my ult now. I'm definitely going to try to look to uh, try to see if I can get an all in before they hit 6. I don't see Kha'Zix though, so I'm a little scared, but I think it's still okay if I, uh... I think it's still okay to aggress. I do have Exhaust up, so I know we can win an all-in, especially with my ult. I didn't want to exhaust there, there wasn't a point. Maybe if I ignite that would have been a kill, but eh, that's that kinda sucks. We at least uh force them to back now, which is good. I am Raka. What's with the accent? Oh man, I wasn't close enough to get the assist. Oh shit. Just uh, pop a plant back over. I'm gonna go where it is blue actually. Kazakh's top. Kazakh's. He's going to the blue, like 100%. I just saw the Kazakh's walking there. So if the so if, yes, if Syndra right next can collapse, that'd be huge. Getting my collapse would be extremely good. Oh dang it, Connecting's actually kind of low. Actually, they might still get this. Uh... Oh shit. Nice, that's pretty good. I'm gonna run up with the ability boots, might be able to catch up. Syndra's actually in an awful spot. Uh, she has no subs actually, she's probably dead. I know since their uh, bot lane just left, I'm good. I guess then can't do anything to me. So Zaya gets a free shove bot, which I guess is fine. The Pantheon's pretty far behind. And Alistar, I'm a mobility boots up on Alistar, so I think we got this bot tower. If Pantheon runs back right now, I can just kill him. I'm just gonna wait here. That was a really big deal by Zaya, but we got the kill. We 100% should die. Oh shit. Damn. 
That was a flash on Alistar. I should have I shouldn't have walked back over to the bush. That was actually the only way Ally could have died from one another one of their champions coming in. But getting killing Pantheon under Tower is huge, because he lost a wave of CS as well. I think that was still worth. The execution was just really bad. I think if I had the heal from Zaya earlier, then I would have I wouldn't have died to Alistar. But that's okay. We all make mistakes. Zaya gets a free shove again, and Galio holds it, so this isn't terrible for us. Oh, I can't do anything. Yeah, I think that was an awful idea to go in, to be honest. Like, we can't 3v3 that. I can't defend this though. They could Alistar could jump me anytime. Maybe when I evolve, but Oh my god, that was right outside my sweeper range. That feels bad, man. Let's put a pink here, whatever. I get two wards, so I guess that's fine. I'm a little scared to face check this. Should be okay now though. I think I'm safe. Yeah. Just wanted to queue a bush just to be extra safe. Yeah, I'll let Cinder take that. Then I'll pop this plant. Cool. Okay. We have first tower. That's not terrible. But we should definitely try to minimize death right now. Like, we're kind of just giving a lot of free kills for no reason. I'm gonna start. Uh, now that I finished the uh, Eye Watchers, I'm gonna start working towards Locket. I think we really need the I really need the resistance for myself, and I think that having the shield is really good for our team. I'm gonna go to Zaya right now though. She's leaning by herself against the Cassidy. She's a little spooky, but she seems to be winning since she has a Bork, which is quite good. I do have ult. I can maybe bait this. Kassan doesn't seem like he's falling for it though. That's okay. I'll just shove. An enemy has been slain. Okay, Lisa. Nice. I'm gonna just shifting my wards up right now since I saw that Pantheon died. Alistar was just mid here, so it should be safe to drop a ward really quickly with mobility boots. I do think it's correct to shove. Someone just popped the plant. It's probably Kha'Zix. Uh, I'm gonna just get one ward right here, just in case. I really want to ward this. I think it's safe to do it. Yeah, Alistar's, Alistar's up here, but uh, they got mid. It's actually fine. I don't need to stay mid. I think I'm going to stay top just in case. Oh shit. This guy's in a couple spot. I think he's dead. Oh my god, I saved him there. Try to save him. Oh, I'm gonna get a uh, galley ulted. Oh my god, I played that fight so well. I pretty much dodged everybody and charmed so many people. That was actually huge. Oh shit. Is Leeson okay? I'm gonna go help Leeson. I'm gonna help Leeson. I'm gonna help Leeson. Just don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. I don't have a fucking mana. Got him. Perfect. Good job. Oh, I played that so well. Okay, I'm gonna help the Lisa and take a Rift. Uh, actually, no, we shouldn't. Actually, there is a pink word here. Oh, I'm gonna clear that first. Yeah. I, I forgot that was still there. Oh. Oh my god. I got. 
I think I, what happened was that I got a double charm into a W here, and then I charmed the Pantheon, and I managed to dodge a bunch of skill shots using my jump while protecting Zelia. It was just so efficient. Like, that was actually insanely well played. I don't think I've ever played that well <laughs> as for con before in one team fight, so I'm pretty happy with that performance. We're in a really good spot now. I think we should aim to take Rift Herald and top next. I'm gonna communicate that with my team, so we at least have a game plan. I think it's always good to have some kind of game plan with your team, so everyone's on the same page. Well, actually, dra Dragon's up soon. Maybe it's better to go for Dragon. I think I will. Oh god, this is like just awful. Oh my god. I had to flash out. That was just bad. Oh, I missed. Feels bad. I think I'm okay though. I'm trying to see who I see if it's safe to jump anywhere. I don't think I need to. Cool. Mm, yeah, I had to save the Cinder there. It's a lot more important to Cinder stays alive than uh, than if I stay alive. So I was willing to sacrifice myself there, but I actually ended up living because I would just bolt and then flash out once they're all charmed. I don't have to commit to a fight. Cool. And we get the shove top, we get Rift Herald. This is just perfect. I'm gonna drop some boards real quick. I'm gonna get these two words right here since it's still safe to do that. I'll proc some uh, spell piece. This is actually kind of bad. I'm gonna prepare the recall for the Zaya. Oh shit. This is just bad. I, I can't save her. I can't save her. I can't do anything. If I go in, I'll die. Okay, I'm gonna go in now. They do so hard, holy crap. That was actually insane. I can't believe they all just dogpiled on us like that. That was pretty greedy of us to stay for tower. See, my plan was that I was hoping I could start the recall in a bush, so that way, as soon as I'm almost done recalling, Zai can just jump to me and we can both get out. But I don't think that was possible once the Galio TP'd, so that's a bit unfortunate. I'm gonna go recall right now, there's nothing for me to do. But it's not terrible. I think we got one or two kills there. It wasn't the worst trade, given the situation. We also got a tower, and we still have Rift Herald to use for a push at some point. Cool. Finish lock it. This is a huge buy. You can see how close these fights are, and having a shield to protect our team is going to be very, very good. Definitely going to work on Redemption next. I'm gonna get out. The Alistar can't chase me. I run faster than him, so I'm not scared of him at all. I'm gonna wait for Renekton to get pressure before I go in. Or if Syndra gets a stun first, then I'll go. I don't wanna lead when I don't know. Well, I don't have perfect information on where they all are. Oh shit. That was really risky, but Syndra was with me, so I don't think I was terribly scared. Hmm. I can't clear that pink yet. I have to wait for my team to come help me. Cool. Uh. Hmm, I'm gonna stay with my team. Yeah, I should. Yeah, we should we should go top for 100. They all just went mid. This is the perfect time to go top. We have a really big wave. It's not big, but it's reasonable. Good split. Damn, I got blown up. That's okay though. 
I did a good enough job of stalling the guys up here. Because what happened was that the Alistar and Galio just dove in. And it was my job to make sure I at least tried to stall the Pantheon Kha'Zix from jumping in on us. And I did a reasonable enough job. I blew all my cooldowns. I tried to tank as much as I could. And that was okay. There was no way I was going to get out of that alive. If I if I meant protecting my team. But that's what supports you, right? <laughs> we still got top tower for that. Still pretty good. Okay. Well, Baron's our next objective, so I'm gonna try to set vision around that area. Okay, Rakan. Get them watching. Burn them up. I'll leave my pink there because you should always use your pinks inside the bush or inside the pit. Um. I don't want to go for words right now. I'm going to wait for the Alistar to leave. Now I'll go. I should be safe. Let's see, Alistar used two wards, so this area probably isn't warded, but yeah, it probably isn't. But I'll just check where they place all their wards. You can see that Degalio just did that because he doesn't actually have vision in the bush. I actually don't think it's worth killing that ward. Because you can leave that ward up and it doesn't do anything for them. It just knows that the only information that ward gives is that, is just that we have a pink ward in there. So it's better just to leave it up. There's no reason to clear it. That's fun. Oh, I should have uh, exhausted actually. Oh fuck, I, I flashed way too late. That was my bad. That was just really dumb of me. This is a really bad fight. Oh wow, that Zaya damage is actually huge. Zaya actually won us that fight. I didn't think about exhausting because I figured that the Cinder was kind of dead regardless of whether or not I exhausted her. So I felt it was better for me to hang on to it. Because I don't think buying the Syndra another second would have actually done anything. Like she was she wasn't gonna do enough damage to where she could change the tide of the fight. If it was Zaya, for example, getting caught and she didn't have her ult yet, I definitely would have exhausted for her. But the exhaust wouldn't have done anything, and I wasted my flash. That was just really poorly played on my part. I'm gonna run as soon as I can to Lee Sin. Actually, Lee Sin's fine. He can solo dragon. I'm gonna go back to Baron. Get some vision for us. I'm never gonna use my W to gap close over walls because I want to save my W as an escape route. I know there's a couple words here. I'll go ahead and clear those. Yeah. I see the Kha'Zix here. Put one word right at side. I'm gonna run bot real quick. You're going on Pantheon. An enemy has been slain. This is a bad spot. Mm, there isn't a good opening right now. I, I think it's better for us to go get there inside. We have so much vision there. Like, they actually just don't see anything here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should... We should go on him. I don't think this is worded. Uh, this is really awkward. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why did she just do that? I should have to ult this. What the fuck? Wait, I didn't even pop that plant. Holy shit. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Okay, well this is now really, really bad. This is just like insanely bad. We have to leave. Oh my god, what the fuck. I don't have any more wars, this is pretty awful. Good thing we have a scrying. You're trying to bait really hard. I can go, I'm waiting for my team and then I'll go in. Yeah, just back. Just back, just back. There's no reason to fight. There's absolutely no reason to fight right now. 
We should wait for Zaya. This is good. This is like, really good for us. Yeah, now we can go back. We should go back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should start. We should start. We should start. Let's start. Let's start. This is the perfect time. They have no more words. This is really good for us. We're not. I'm not even gonna kill this because if we kill it, then we know we're inside the pit. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. See, it's important not to kill the ward in this case because by not killing the ward. They don't know that we're inside the pit. You can't actually see anything with that ward. So by showing our position, by killing the ward, then they would run to us. But there was a lot of hesitation from them because they didn't actually know if we were inside the pit or not by not killing it. So that was kind of a mind game thing going on, which ended up working out quite well in our favor. Now we have Baron, we can push really hard. This is a good way to close out the game. We should definitely try to end the game in this push. I don't want to have us keep getting caught over and over again. I'm okay. That was not that much damage. Just gonna wait for my ability boost to come back up. I'll just stay really far back. I'm not really looking to initiate right now since we have Baron. They have to initiate on us. I can get a really good counter engage if they jump on us. Unless I see Cassid and Super out of position, I'll maybe go for it. pretty good. I only went there because I saw two people bot, so that was the only reason time. That was, that was, that was, that was a really good time for us to fight, because it was a 4v3. We were going to win that for sure if I initiated. Just going to stay back once again, E to whoever gets caught, and then I'll go in. Push, right? We don't have a wave though. Oh my god, this Indra is so fast. Oh my god, I missed my freaking thing. I'm so bad. Damn. I'm okay. We do have Renekton back. I almost have ult again too. Got him. Oh, he flashed. Just gonna charm them all. I'm dead. Yeah, Kha'Zix jumped on me. That's fine. Got a pretty good charm off. And that's game, I think. Oh, I think my lock might have come up, actually. I should have locked it. Oh, well. Pretty clean, though. I think that was one of my best Rakan games I've had in a long time, so... I'm pretty satisfied.